God's help is always available, but it is only given to those that actively seek it and ask for it. You have free will. You could say, no, no, God, I'll do this on my own, and you, you can, and I've done that many times, and it's not the way to go. Ask God for God's help. In Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8, it says, Ask, and it will be given to you, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and he who seeks, finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Jesus told his disciples that they should ask God to meet their needs. But his instruction wasn't just for the disciples. It is for us too. Genuine, heartfelt prayer brings a powerful change in us and in our world. When we lift our hearts to God, we open ourselves to a never-ending source of divine wisdom and divine love. Never-ending. It does not get depleted as we ask more. Some people have told me, well, I don't want to go to God about this. I'd, I'd use up my quota. <laughs> well, it's nothing like that. The more you ask, the more you receive. It, it comes, and I believe as you begin to receive the little things, you'll be prepared to receive the big things also. You'll be more aware of what God can do for you. And being more aware, you'll talk to God more often, and you'll ask God more often for God's help. Do you have questions about your future? Do you have needs that you simply cannot meet by yourself? Do you need comfort? Well, if so, talk to God about it. Ask God for direction. Ask God for guidance and, and provision for your every need and to possibly soothe the ache in your heart. Keep asking God for what you need every day that you live. Talk to God many times during this day. Whatever you face, Pray about it, and when you do, you'll never lose hope. God is listening, and God is perfectly capable of answering your prayers. But we have to work with God enough to ask for God's help.